Hello lovelies, happy TV Tray Tuesday. Thank you for joining me for another edition of TV Tray Tuesday where we are going to make a fairly simple, easy card, all from minimal supplies, all on a TV tray. And I am, once again, out on my farmer's porch. It's a beautiful day. It's a perfect day outside compared to last week when it was raining. But um, today is absolutely gorgeous. I've got my pooches out here with me. So if you hear them barking, they're just saying hi. Um, this is what we're going to be making today. I wanted to showcase um, a stamp set that it's staying in the new catalog. Um, but the bundle is going away. You can get this stamp set. This is the new catalog. Oh, see how lovely it is. And I am sorry, I am forbidden to actually open it. You're only allowed to see the outside as of right now until Friday. On Friday, yeehaw, we can open it. Um, this stamp set, Pocket Full of Sunshine, is in the new catalog along with the framelits and these framelits are awesome you can make a cute little pocket um, the sunglasses this is supposed to be this is supposed to be money actually there that's the picture of the money right there so that would cut the money out um, it's the, the sunshine all little things that you could put on the pocket it's an absolute adorable stamp set and framelit set. Right now, right up until the end of May, you can get this as a bundle and save 10%. Once the new catalog goes live, you can still get both of them, but it's going to be separate. You would have to order them individually and you would not get the bundle price and save the 10%. So if this is something that interests you, you're going to want to hop on and order that ASAP and this is this is awesome this little pocket is so cute you can use it on a card you can actually even um, punch out two of the pockets and you can make you don't even have to put it on a card you could almost make like a little pocket with some string on it and make a little pocket full of money or a little gift card in this. I put I put a 20 in there because I just think it looks it looks adorable with the money hanging out of the pocket, but this would also fit you could fit a gift card in there as well. So, it's an awesome awesome little gift holder, but I think it I think it kind of looks cute with the money kind of hanging out of the pocket there. Okay. Anyways, our supplies. Okay, we showed you the pocket full of sunshine stamp set and the framelits. I am also going to use just one little stamp. This stamp right here kind of looks like clouds from the waterfront stamp set. This is another set that is absolutely, it's endless possibilities. It looks like clouds and we're using it for today's purposes. We're using it as clouds, but you could totally use it for water. I've used it for water on other cards before, but it's just, it's amazing what you can do with this stamp set. The imagination, just let it loose and you can come up with some awesome, awesome creations. And we're also going to use the stylized birthday for the inside of the card. All right, our inks, super simple. We are keeping it super, super simple. We're using Memento Tuxedo Black. We're going to use some um, craft ink, some Whisper White. Um, we're gonna actually stamp our um, our clouds with this first. I don't know if you could see how clearly you could see the clouds on there because it's very, very, I'm going to try and hold it a little bit closer. It's very light, but I mean, it's a very, it's a really cute effect. So anyways, this is um, craft ink. So it does not dry as fast as our regular 
stamp pad. So we're going to stamp that first so we can give it a little bit of time to dry before we adhere our stuff down to it. And we're going to use Dapper Denim, a color that is sadly going bye bye I love Dapper Denim and I am very, very sad to see it go. Um, it will be gone as of the end of May. Um, again, another color that if you, if it's something that you like, you're going to want to stock up on paper, a reinker, an ink pad. It's still available as of right now, um, but it's not going to be for much longer. So those are the three colors we're using. Our paper supplies. We've got a piece of dapper denim as our base which is cut at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We have our top layer. This is Soft Sky, another color that is leaving us. Um, thought it looked very nice, worked well as, as a background piece. This is three and three quarters by five. And then we just need scraps of dapper denim and so saffron so that we can stamp our pocket and our sunglasses. And we also, our inside piece is just whisper white and it's uh, four by five and a quarter. All right, let's get cranking. We will move this on out of the way. Try to put it where the wind is not going to take it. It's not super windy, but every once in a while I get a little bit of a gust. That on out of the way. Okay, we're going to start with this so that our craft ink... Oops, sorry. Trying not to shake the table. So that the craft ink can dry. So let me get those over there. And because it is a photopolymer stamp set, I'm going to use the pierce mat. With a little piece of scrap paper over it because we are going to go off the paper. And all you got to do, there's no rhyme or reason to it. You're just plopping clouds around. So you're just going to... Just stamp them, space them out. However you like, there's no right or wrong way. We're going to do that through the entire sheet. I hope everyone had a nice long weekend. I know camping season began this weekend for a lot of people. We did not camp this weekend. We are avid campers. We love to camp. And I love to craft while we're camping. But I just refuse to camp on Memorial Day weekend. I don't know why. Just not something that I care to do. Okay. We have that piece done. We're done with our craft white and that's going to take a few minutes to dry so I'm just going to set that aside and we're going to pull in our there we go. We're going to pull in our 
piece of dapper denim and our adorable little pocket. Luke, diamond, it's okay. My dogs are on alert. They see the puppy across the street roaming around. Okay, so I'm sorry, I did not even, I didn't even show you, I got sidetracked with the dogs, making sure that they didn't go chase the puppy across the street. Dapper denim. And we're just going to ink up our little pocket. And when you're inking this up, you're going to want to make sure that you have a piece of paper big enough. This, I made this mistake the first time because when you cut it out, there's going to be tabs on the side, which I will show you in a second. So you want to make sure you have enough room on your piece of paper. You want to leave about probably a half to three quarters of an inch all around your pocket. Voila! Super cute. I love how it has the stitching. And we're even going to add more. We've got this stamp here that's got the little stitching design on the pocket. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. All right. Now, like I said, this is a framelit set. And I cannot fit my Big Shot on a TV tray. So, through the magic of video, I've got one all done up for you. Now, see that this is what I mean about leaving some room on the edges. The first time I had done it, I used a piece that was gonna fit perfect for the pocket and totally forgot that the edges are there. This is actually what makes the pocket pop up and it, it's scored and everything. So it's very, I mean, you just fold it into place. Let me grab the bone folder so we can burnish it down. We just fold in all of our little pieces. And give them a good crease. There we go. All right. I'm going to do that. Oh, no. I think I had a little bit of crafting still on my hands. You know what? It actually gives it... <laughs> okay. Those of you from the 80s are going to know what I'm talking about. It gives it a nice little stonewashed look. <laughs> Remember those stonewashed jeans we used to wear? Oh, my word. Yeah, I'm dating myself right now. But, um, okay. So we'll put that aside. We're gonna make the little tag, the cute little tag that you see on the pockets of jeans. We're gonna do that next. We're gonna grab our scrap of So Saffron. And while we have our dapper denim open, We're just gonna stamp that down like that. That's all it takes, just a tiny little piece. And then we've got a little yay. There's other options in the stamp set. There's um, HBD for happy birthday. There's THX for thanks. And then we've got the, what we're using today, the yay. And just stamp that just right on in there like that. Yay! Now, this also has a framelit that we could run through the big shot to cut out. But seriously, I mean, it's tiny. We can easily just fussy cut it out with no big deal. I am going to leave some extra room on the end so that we can attach it 
to our pocket. the junk on out of the way. All right, we've got that there. I'm going to put that aside for right now because while we have this open or while we have the so saffron out, we're going to continue with it and we're going to stamp our sunglasses. I'm going to try to get all our stamping, most of our stamping done. All right, our sunglasses. Oh, aren't they cute? Get them good and inked up. We're using basic black for this. And I'm just going to give them a good press. I'm going to let them sit there for a minute. Maybe not a full minute. You know, a few seconds. Just so that the ink has time to, to soak into the paper and we get a decent black lens on the sunglasses. There we go. Nice. And again, another framelit. The magic of video. Voila, it's all cut out. All right, we are about ready to start assembling this card. We're going to put the glue on our little piece. As soon as I can find it, there we go. We'll put the glue on our little yay here. And you literally do not need much. And I've got a lot dripping off here, so I'm going to kind of rub it on the side because you don't need that much. Tiny little bit will do. And you're just going to stick it right on the, the under flap of the pocket. That's all you're going to do is just attach it right to there. Sorry, might help if I stayed in the frame. Just hold it there for a second. Okay. All right. Our soft sky and clouds should be good and dry by now. So we are going to close up our memento black for now. We are done with that. We are going to Pull our dapper denim in again. I forgot we needed to put our little, uh, our saying up top, our pocket full of sunshine. So we're just gonna, oh, and I just put my hand on the glue. Isn't that lovely? Oh, well. Gotta get dirty when you're crafting. It's kind of the rule. All right, we're just going to pop pocket full of sunshine right up top here. Nice. Cool, cool. There we can stick our... Now we could put our pocket down. Grab our glue. And we're just going to put just a little bit of glue right along all four taps. If you can hear snoring in the background, that would be my sleepy husband. Really? Yes, you were snoring. I don't sleep. Hey, everybody. Say hi to Mike. He's sitting right next to me out on the porch enjoying the weather and clearly it's putting him to sleep. <laughs> mm. 
All right, we're going to pop our pocket right down. And again, we're going to hold it there for a second. I'm actually going to take the bone folder and kind of give it a crease down. There we go. That should be down nicely. There we go. Awesome. All right. We're going to stick this. Well, we're going to continue with the glue and get that over with. We're going to stick this right on down to our card base. Diamond. It's okay. I left a little bit of a larger border on this. Kind of, I really kind of wanted to show off the the dapper denim in the background. I really, really like it. There we go. Put that down. Nice. And now for our sunglasses, we're gonna pop these little babies up on dimensionals going to give it, I think it gives it a little bit of a, a better look instead of having them sit flush. And see, I think this is going to be perfect for the little end pieces of the dimensionals. Because you got to use them all. You don't want to ignore those little end pieces. Those are Dimensionals are valuable little critters. And then I am going to stick regular ones right on those. Oops, as it's flying away. Come on. Okay, and as I made this card earlier, I laughed. Come on, seriously. I put these dimensionals on and look at that. It, it looks kind of like little angry eyes or something. The way the, the top dimensionals look, they kind of look like little angry eyebrows with the eyebrows. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> the nice weather has gotten me a little silly, but I thought it kind of looked, looked uh, funny. I laughed. So we're going to pull off our backing. We don't want our little eyes to be angry either. I mean, they look like angry eyes, but we don't want to be angry. And we're just going to lay them to look like they're just hanging out of the back pocket. And just pop them on down. There we go. And what would a pair of jeans be without some glitz? Right? Right. We need glitz. So we're going to pop a few little rhinestones. I really, really gave a lot of thought to how I was going to do these rhinestones. I thought about putting them along that area. I decided to just keep it simple and just go with three. But boy, I tell you, I, I was thinking about actually putting a whole little design on there. But I refrained. All right, we got our three little rhinestones. So there's the outside of our card. We're going to stamp the inside quickly, and then we're going to call it a day. So we've got our dapper denim still out. We've got our stylized birthday stamp. So I am going to actually stamp off to the side to make sure I have it straight. Yep, that's going to look good. Get that right. Oh, my word. I keep getting stuck in that glue. Okay, I have to move that piece of paper. <laughs> and we're just going to pop down our happy birthday. Yay! A big 
cute. That's awesome. All right. Take out our glue again. I'm sorry, I didn't show you. This was Tombow multi-purpose liquid, uh, liquid glue. You can use any type of adhesive that you want. You're not, some people like um, tape runners, some people prefer glue. Some people prefer glue dots. Everybody has their own preference. So I kind of try to dabble between everything. I try to use it all. But when it comes to putting in, trying to make the borders even, I definitely, definitely lean towards the glue just to make sure things are straight. And it gives me the wiggle room to be able to move them around. And there we go. There's the inside of the card. There's the outside of the card. All we need is either our little... Oh, no. I didn't even think of that. Shoot. When I put that on there, did I not put it? Because that did not happen on the other card. Nope. Oh, just has to be up a little bit. There we go. There. Just need a gift card. Or... A little bit of money in there. I love the idea of the money. I think that is absolutely stinking adorable. But anyways, there is our card. We'll pull the other one back in here. We'll stick the gift card in that. Oh, there. Close up the inks. Awesome. There we go. We have pocket full of sunshine. Great little, and it could be used for anything. I mean, I went back and forth. I didn't know if I wanted to put this as a birthday card or what I wanted to leave. If I, it can be done as a thank you. It can be done as congratulations. It could, or just anything. But you can do whatever, whatever you choose to put on the inside. I just opted to do birthday for today's purposes. Um, thank you so much for stamping with me today and hanging out with me on my porch. I am trying very hard to figure out how to get um, Facebook Live to work so that I could actually do TV Tray Tuesday live and so I can show you my view and, and then be able to move the camera around a little bit. Um, but anyways, again, thank you for stamping with me. Um, if you are interested, I am going to pull this back in. If you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be pleased to earn your business. I would be uh, happy to help you in any way that I can. If you need a catalog, please get in touch with me. Um, if you'd like to get a catalog, if you'd like to place any orders, you can contact me through Scram scrappystamper.stampinup.net that will bring you right to my online store if you have questions about anything you can also send me an email through that website um, I'd be happy to get you out a catalog like I said the catalogs do go live on Friday very very exciting and um, yes so next week I hope to be showcasing some items from the new catalog in, our, in the card we make next week. So I hope to see you then. Uh, thanks again for joining me for another week of TV Tray Tuesday. Have a wonderful rest of your week and take care. Bye-bye!